तो आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन इज द वन विच ओबेज बॉयल्स लॉ एज वेल एज चार्ल्स लॉ सो फर्स्ट कंसिडर बॉयल्स लॉ इक्वेशन चार्ल्स लॉ इक्वेशन मर्ज टू सेट ऑफ इक्वेशन यू विल गेट द आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन रैंडम मोशन द मोशन इज वेरी रैंडम एंड इट्स वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस विथ इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर सो बॉयल्स लॉ से स्टार्ट एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर द वॉल्यूम इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू प्रेशर Hello everyone I'm Rinda faculty of physics from Vidyashram Pri University College Mysuru welcoming you all to chapter 13 session 2 chapter name is kinetic theory so in this session let us discuss regarding certain laws so here first of all we will start up with boyle's law so here in this boyle's law we study regarding the behavior of the gases so here in this we consider temperature to be constant here we consider that temperature is constant and it is said that always the gas deals with certain components of it so those components are nothing but pressure volume and temperature when there is an exertion of temperature either there will be changes in pressure and volume when the pressure is increased there will be change in volumes so all three are linked to each other so these components are related in the case of three laws that is boyle's law charles law as well as gay-lussac's law so in this case we have got the temperature is said to be constant so what are we left out with we are left out with the pressure as well as volume these are the two concepts which we are left out with so it becomes the volume is inversely proportional to pressure so what does your boyle's law says so boyle's law says that at constant temperature the volume is inversely proportional to pressure so as volume as the pressure increases the volume decreases and as the pressure decreases the volume is said to be increased it is inversely proportional quantities in case of boyle's law so what can you write at constant temperature the volume of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure so volume of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure which can be written as v inversely proportional to 1 by p it is written as vp is equal to constant or else it can be written as pv is equal to constant this is all about your boyle's law so when it comes to next law that is said to be a charles law so in case of charles law again one quantity is kept constant and we are dealing with the other rest of the remaining quantities that is like charles law is always under constant pressure volume is directly proportional to temperature in this case so it is at constant pressure volume is directly proportional to the temperature which can be written as v by t is equal to constant so charles law we have vt is equal to constant is the equation in this case pressure is considered to be a 
constant quantity. Now in case of Gay-Lussac's law, so you are clear with two laws that is Boyle's law and Charles law. So these two are the laws where the ideal gas obeys. So what is the ideal gas? Ideal gas is the one which obeys Boyle's law as well as Charles law. So in terms of Gay-Lussac's law, we have kept our temperature constant in Boyle's law pressure constant in Charles law. Here in this case, we are keeping at constant volume. In this case, we are keeping constant volume. We have got our pressure is directly proportional to what? It's the temperature. So we have P by T is equal to a constant term. So you can write the definition as at constant volume, the pressure is directly proportional to temperature, which is given by P by T is equal to constant. This is all about your Gay-Lussac's law. So here they have asked only two laws for you, that is Boyle's law as well as Charles law, wherein this law is excluded. So Boyle's law at constant temperature, what are the components you are having? That is volume is inversely proportional to pressure in case of Boyle's law. And in terms of Charles law, it is like that is at constant pressure, volume is directly proportional to temperature. So having these two law, the gas which obeys these two law, let us consider an ideal gas. So what is that ideal gas? Ideal gas is a one which obeys two laws that is Boyle's law as well as Charles law here. Okay, now let us get the ideal gas equation. So in this case, let us consider a gas having pressure P1 in initial condition and temperature T1 as well as volume volume V1. So there is a presence of gas with pressure, temperature and certain volume which is considered to be P1, T1 and V1 at initial state. Now if you consider Boyle's law, Boyle's law, you have got the equation as PV is equal to constant. So when a Boyle's law occurs, what happens to the volume? The pressure changes. When the pressure changes, what happens to the volume? The volume also changes. So initial condition you have got P1 whose pressure changes to P2. Whereas initially you have got V1 whose volume changes to V1 and dash. So write, the, write down this. It becomes PV, that is P1, V1 is equal to, this is the initial condition, whereas the final condition is given as P1 becomes P2 and V1 becomes V1 dash. This is the final condition. Let us consider this as equation 1. So this is all about your Boyle's law. So it has obeyed the Boyle's law. Next, let us consider Charles' law. So according to Charles' law, we have got V by T is equal to constant. So in this case, our pressure has changed to P2 and volume has changed to V1 dash. Here we have got V and T. There is a change in volume when the temperature changes. So here we can write it down as V1. This is initial condition. So after this initial condition has changed to V1 dash, V1 dash state. Now if the volume, initial volume is considered to be the same. So it is V1 dash is changed to V2. Volume is changing and the temperature which has remained as it is, that is T1 changes to T2. So it is changed to V2 and T2 as well as your P2 is the change in pressure. So you have got P2, V2 and T2 changes which has occurred. So now you can write it down as V1 dash divided by T1. This is the initial condition which has changed to V2 divided by 
T2. So P2, V2 and T2 you have got. This can be considered as equation 2. Now having equation 1 and 2, it can be written as P1, V1 is equal to P2 and V1 dash. So V1 dash can be written as V2 into T1. This T1 can go up divided by T2. So P1 V1 is equal to P2. V1 dash can be written as V2 into T1 divided by T and 2. So P2 V2 two terms that is 2 2 2 that subscript 2 remains one side subscript one set remains the other side. So P1 V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 V2 divided by T2. So we have got this equation which is said to be ideal gas equation the one which obeys the Boyle's law as well as Charles law. So here we have got this equation in general we can write it as PV divided by T is equal to a constant. So now this constant is determined with the help of a variable which is said to be R. Then this equation becomes PV divided by T is equal to the constant is written as R. So this R goes here. So it becomes PV is equal to RT where P is pressure. V is nothing but the volume. R is said to be universal gas constant and T is the temperature. Universal gas constant is written as 8.31 joule per mole to Kelvin. So this is the value of universal gas constant. Now for N mole of gas you write this equation as PV is equal to how many moles? It is N number of moles and RT. PV is equal to N RT. This is the equation of ideal gas. Now we have got if M is said to be the molecular mass of N number of moles and N is said to be number of moles of gas of mass m then you can write your n that is number of moles is by mass of the gas divided by molecular mass so you have got n is equal to m divided by m so here you consider one mole of a gas have certain set of value that is one mole of a gas consists of Na number of molecules that Na is given by the Avogadro number whose value is 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. So this is the value of Avogadro number. So when this is a case, it will be like you have got number of moles will become N is the total number of molecules which is present in mass M of the gas divided by the Avogadro number. So you have got your PV is equal to NRT. Substitute in this equation. Let me consider this as equation star. So it becomes PV is equal to N is nothing but N divided by NA into R and T. So R and T together it makes some constant which is called as Boltzmann constant. So you have got your PV is equal to N into KB and T. So this will be the ideal gas equation in terms of Avogadro number. So that is all about your ideal gas equation. So ideal gas equation is the one which obeys Boyle's law as well as Charles law. So First consider Boyle's law equation, Charles law equation, merge two set of equation, you will get the ideal gas equation and later you consider the constant as R and for n number of molecules what will be the equation and when there is the existence of Avogadro number so what is the ideal gas equation that's all is present in the ideal gas equation derivation. Next it is 
kinetic theory of gases. So this concept is basically about the kinetic theory of gases. So in this case, we all know that there is a container that is a closed container which has got the presence of gas molecules which is freely moving around within the container. So what happens to the gas molecules when it freely moves? So if there is an increase in temperature, its velocity increases. As the temperature that is T increases, what happens? Its velocity also increases. So there is a collision of these molecules, that is the gas molecules with each other as well as with the walls of the container, which is said to be elastic in nature. That is elastic nature means the collision is said to be elastic. It is nothing but the kinetic energy which is present over there is said to be conserved. So here there is conservation of kinetic energy. It is not lost in any of the means. So here as temperature increases, velocity also increases. As the velocity increases, particles speed up as well as the collision also takes place. A uh, collision also takes place with itself as well as with the walls of the container which results in the mean free path also. So that's all about the kinetic theory of gases under which we have got certain postulate. Postulate are nothing but this, it's the same concept what happens when there is a presence of gases within the container. So how it acts when certain quantities acts on it, that is acts on the gas. So it is all about molecules are said to be identical. So size of the molecules will be small as that compared to that of its intermolecular distance. Because of the this large intermolecular distance, what happens to the gases? It is not held close to each other. So it is very free to move around. So that is all about the second point that is the size of the molecule will be so very small when you compare to that of the intermolecular distance. Next is molecules behave as, as rigid, perfect as well as elastic spheres. The spheres, the elastic spheres that means there is no loss of kinetic energy of the gas molecules. Next is molecules have constant random motion. So they have got constant random motion. The motion is very random and its velocity increases with increase in temperature. I have told you. So when the temperature increases, its density decreases and there is gas molecules which are very free to move. So its speed also increases. So there is a concept called as that is mean free path. So mean free path it's nothing but it's a free path until and unless two atoms or molecules colloids each other. So mean free path is nothing but the distance between two successive collisions is known as mean free path. It can be termed as distance between two successive collision of two atoms. This is all about the mean free path. These are the points which is included under the kinetic theory of gases that is how the gas behaves. So here we have got the molecules. So gas molecules undergo its collisions along with itself as well as with the walls of the container during which there is no attraction or repulsion. So the molecules doesn't attract each other or repel each other except for in the case of its collision. So therefore we can say it possesses only the kinetic energy and not the potential energy. So there is no presence of potential energy here because the size of the molecules are very much lesser than the intermolecular distance because of which the molecules are very loosely packed and it is free to move. As a result, only kinetic energy is present and not the potential energy. Hence, there is no attraction or else repulsion of the molecules. So that's all about the kinetic theory of gases. It's certain postulates. So in today's class of ours, we have studied regarding Boyle's law, Charles law, gay lussacs law, as well as the ideal gas equation, how the gas obeys certain laws and it becomes ideal. And what is the ideal gas equation for n mole of a gas and ideal gas equation when there is a presence of Avogadro number and kinetic theory postulates. So that's all for today. Have a good day.